I figured the mines were gonna be trouble. Didn't think they'd be crawling with mats. Must have gotten out of HIA a while ago. They've been busy here. Something about the tunnels here gets under your skin and into the worst parts of your head. Makes you feel... not yourself. In case I don't make it out of here. Marauders. Must have followed me from OCI. Time to make tracks while the mats are busy. I'm shedding some extra weight. It's yours if you find it. Whoever you are. You need it more than I do now. I assume that's how Lucky met his end. Not only was the Marauders close to him, but he was dealing with these little squirmy shitheads as well. You know what, Lucky? I'm gonna avenge your death. I'm gonna find out who actually was responsible for this case, and hopefully you'll be able to rest in peace. OCI backwards and forwards. The Marauders got a way of finding every nook and cranny on this rock. OCI. Fancy joint. Smells like Wentzworth's and leather. A real slice of Byzantium. You don't set that up unless you're planning something big. Adrena time? Sure. But something tells me there's more to the story. Got a hunch to follow up on near the old mines. I'm leaving this here. In case I gotta come back. And it's so and the sad part is he never did. Which is why I'm here. And I really hope I get to the bottom of this a lot sooner. Because it seems like things are actually a lot more worse than it seems. We're definitely trespassing. But don't let that stop you. Is it weird that all these traps just make me want to see what they're hiding? Yeah, that's what I thought too. It's so unusual to walk into so many mines. Pretty annoying, but whatever. Let me just look through to see if there's anything I can take. Because I know for a fact they're not going to use it, so oh well. Baked beans! Baked beans! You know, that reminds me, I know my work wife wants to have this little lunch where we have hot dogs with some chili beans and some cheese because she says she wants to fart up the place. Marauders. Like they have some kind of group identity. They don't. The name was coined in Edgewater, I think. One of the towns first hit by the Adrena time crisis. A lonely spacer's choice outpost on the edge of a barren sea. A prime place for the company to test a disastrous new product. When the town started fraying at the edges, hardly anyone else in the colony noticed. Just like Lucian planned. I read the reports. Every missing person. Every unexpected death. A town already teetering on the edge, and Adrena time shoved it off a cliff. That's disgusting. They, I swear, these companies really are brutal. How does a man become marauder? People talk about them as if they've transformed, like they've mutated. I see it in the Aether Wave broadcasts, read it in the papers. But beneath their masks, they're only people. Dangerous people with a terrible illness, but people still. When we call a man a marauder, have we given up on him? How do we know when he's become one? How can you decide to give up on someone? Have I... have I given up on Harvey? Who does this suffering serve, I wonder? Spacer's choice? Wow, Miss Amber Rose is having a philosophical crisis. A spiritual awakening. Not a bad spot for a reading nook. Let's see if we can find one of those comics. 
Yeah, now I'm bad spot. I know it's over there. I'm just looking over here to see if there's anything I, I can take. But look at this scientist just second guessing herself. So cute. Isn't it a little too late for that, though? Definitely way too late for that. A comic from the cult classic Ace Exterminator series. Tragically cancelled after its brief four-issue run. Scribbled in felt tip on the comic spine is the word speak. In the inaugural issue, newly minted hero Archibald Elixir is dispatched to the cloud sites of Olympus to put down a plague of ravenous anti-men intent on taking the cities for their own. Manti Mastermind pits his second in command, renowned spindle knight Sasak Sassafras, against Elixir in hand to claw combat. Just when Elixir appears to have bested his insectile foe with the help of his handy PET, his eye is caught by Isabella Pham Fentel, Minty Mastermind's dancing queen. Will our mustachioed hero survive his brush with the spindle knight and with love? Maurice, I have made my peace with the chemical waste pit. It is where I belong, I think, with the refuse and the dregs. The service is distant to me, as distant as the cold stars, as distant as you are and the rest of them. How do you fare, Maurice, up on your vaunted perch, when the shadow of the melt factory crown falls on you in your fine telescope? Do you think of me down here in the dark? Do any of you? My isolation has borne fruit. Propane, butane, ethane. I like how that rhymes. These wild ga gases visit me in my dreams. Damn, really? You really need a vacation then. They shift and morph, compress and expand. Gas now, then liquid, then gas again. They've whispered to me the trick of their metamorphosis, and I have bottled it as they taught me. Come down from the shadow of the manufactory, Maurice, down to the ravine, and they will teach you their trick too. Let us at last complete the package that might finally ascend. All glory to the P.E.T. Eustache. This Eustache person just went full-blown Lost its shit. Ooh. But at least I have some stuff to take. Like, look at this. Some beans. But yeah, back to my bean story. I know my wife wants me to get some beans. I know I promised her that weeks and weeks ago, so I'm slacking. So I'll definitely talk to her tomorrow to see if she still wants that hot dogs and bean chili bean lunch or something all right so the last clue it's right over there all right let's head on out as a doctor i'd say you've got a six percent chance of surviving the fall i feel like this elevator needs a concession stand Is the elevator not working? Oh, I was about to say, because I know I see a terminal right there, so... And we just went through a whole raid of monkeys, too. Can't believe this is our last clue. Why are you so close, Felix? Yeah, boss? So, how would you end up on the Groundbreaker? Didn't I tell you? No. I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child. Abandoned at birth in the back bays. And then you were raised by a pack of sprats, right? That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. I spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. Okay, so... Uh, you were a stowaway. That's what they called us. Orphans with no family. No company to take us in. 
Nowhere to go but the back bays. The word's a touch kindlier than rung leech, but the meaning's just as clear. If you can't support your own self, you don't deserve to be on the groundbreaker. So how did you manage? Same way we all do. Look for work and hope somebody would give me a shot. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. The foreman and I never got on. So what happened between you and your foreman? Guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. And that's when you resolved your differences like an adult, right? That's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. Damn. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Former dock worker, anyway. That's all in the past now. I'm over it. And he's in recovery, probably. If we have a disagreement, I expect you to be civilized. Oh, I can do civilized. Proper civilized, too. Genuflecting and everything. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. Well, you know what? I'm glad you're now wasting your life hauling boxes. Yeah. I guess my ship did arrive in the end. I've got you to thank for that. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. Oh, I hear something. And there's so much dust here, too. Of course. Oh, oh! Nope, nope. Heads up, jackass! All right, they're all gone. No, they're not. Oh, Felix, I got you. Where is he? Ooh. Uh, oh, shit. Felix almost died. My boy, are you okay? I love how Ellie said, Felix, get it together, instead of healing him. Yeah, this is horrible. Alright, thankfully I had enough med kits to help me through because I know for a fact I was going to get screwed, so. And those little acid stuff on the ground was not helping. Looks like this guy drew the short straw. Hope we don't have to go digging for his comic. Okay. A comic from the cult classic Ace Exterminator series. Tragically cancelled after its brief four issue run. Scribbled in felt tip on the comic's spine is the word enter. After narrowly escaping the clutches of the near Foss's agent Buff Hardman, wounded hero Archibald Elixir has a heart in turmoil, a broken PET, and no time to rest because an ancient colossus slumbering beneath the crust of the prison planet, Taurus. That is so ironic how they have Taurus because that's where my scientist guy is, unfortunately, um, holed up in. Arises and hungers for the flesh of thousands as the Colossus lays waste to the maximum security penitentiary, Elixir's nemesis, Hardman, returns to hunt him. Now, Elixir must face down two devilish foes at once as lava encroaches on all sides. Elixir's odds look grim until a chance lightning strike ignites the PET and gives the Ace Exterminator a fighting chance. Will our mustachoid hero slay the giant and finally med his broken heart? Hi, Dr. Kim. I hope everything's all right down there in the chem lab waste processing ravine. I know I get a little smelly, what with the garbage and toxic goo pits and all, so I just want to make sure you're A-OK. -okay. With Virgil's blessing, 
I prepared a revised schedule outlining the remainder of the package's production cycle. You'll note that your propellant solution is blocking Virgil's completion of the package's metal casting. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yo, Brig is so funny. Would you maybe be able to come visit me so we can get oh so we can go over the timeline in detail? I'm in the little office just outside the top level exit from HIA. Can't miss it. Let me know. I'm here to help you. By the marvelous mustache of elixir, Birdie Sharp. Well, now that we have the password, we should be able to unlock their own version of PET. I really hope it's something useful because if it's some corny shit, I wasted two episodes on. I'm just going to scream at this point. We're finally back at the secret hideout. All right, so speak friend and enter. That's the true fan quiz. Oh, I have to pass the fucking quiz. Okay. And issue number one, the plague of the anti-men. What was the name of the anti-mastermind second in command whom Archibald defeated in hand-to-hand -hand combat? Fuck. This one? Incorrect. Damn. Okay. Uh, okay, so thankfully I'm able to redo this quiz. Okay, yes. Question two of four. And issue number two. Attack of the Crystal Canids. What improvised weapon did our illustrious leader, Archibald Elixir, use to exterminate King Alpha? Right here. Yes! Okay, third question. And issue number three. Invasion of the Flesh-Eating Sprats. Agent Buff Hardman foiled Archibald's heroic plan to liberate the underground metropolis of... Whatever that thing is. From the Sprat Pack by doing... What? This one? Yes! Oh my god, okay. Dude, I'm just guessing at this point. Number four. In issue number four, the Colossus beneath Taurus. How did Archibald ignite his signature weapon, PET, and put the titular giant down for good? Lightning. Yes! Enter as a brother or sister, Birdie. Ha! <laughs> That's cute. For you are now a certified, genuine, super science sidekick. Congratulations. Whatever they're hiding, it better not be a stack of comics. Ellie, that's what I said too. So far, it's just junk. Okay. I don't see anything interesting. This is PET. I basically did all of that. Damn, look at all the liquor. Okay. But yeah, I did all of that for a melee weapon. I don't know how I feel about that. Can I get this or not? Come on. Thank you and thank you. So I did all of that just for a melee weapon. You know what? Let me... Let me try out this weapon, see what's the big deal. So this is... Whoa! R2, use these controls to attack and block. Most melee wep... Okay, whatever. Yo, this is sick. Look at this shit. This is P-E-T. Bro. Something on your mind? Uh, well, let's talk about the Gorgon job. You know I've got no love for top rungers, but if Minnie's willing to pay, I say we take her money. You ever heard of Lucky Montoya? Sure. Like Ada said, he was a big name among freelancers. I met him at Lost Hope once. 
He was buying rounds for everyone and telling a story about one of his jobs. Pretty sure half of it was made up. You're, you're the second person who said that. Why do you say that? You ever get the feeling someone's just trying too hard? I just take people at face value. That's your problem, Captain. Damn. There was just something about Montoya I couldn't quite trust. He was always the center of a room, and he slapped a lot of backs to stay there. You think he was all talk? Yeah. I'm trying to say that if he screwed this job up, that's on him. I still like our odds. He may have had a rep, but you're more capable than he ever was. Wow, Ellie, that's nice of you to say. Hey, don't get used to it. What's on your mind? Um, any idea what happened to Lucky? From his arm? The decay makes it hard to tell. It could be a lot of things. Torn off by something with big T, torn off by something with big claws, torn off by someone with a moderately sharp blade. Or maybe he just got too close to heavy machinery. Enough about Gorgon. Sure. Something on your mind? Never mind, let's go. We are back at the Office of Creative Incubation because of the fact that I am looking for a terminal that can help me unlock Amber Rose's office. Now, if I were a terminal, where would I be? And I'm really serious, too. It's, it's not like I'm just... You know what? The kitchen's here. I might as well ransack this place. Water here. Take that. Take some soda, some juice for the wifey, you know? I don't see anything else except money, water tablets, and uh, some beans? No, it's a ration pill. I'll take the cheese, I'll take the sauce, take the money, I'll take some more of that thing is. Okay, so seriously though, if I were a terminal used by the administrator specifically, where would I be? I assume my best educational guess would be somewhere upstairs. Has to be. Now, would there be a terminal available for me? Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. I have a good feeling it could be that random terminal from the theater place. That could be it. Let me see. Where's that theater place? Okay, it's over here. So, the terminal should be right here. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Terminal access. Memos. On all the... If you're reading this memo, you are designated conjury of this auditorium. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm going to be blunt because I want you to understand the gravity of the situation. Someone or several someone sabotage our quarterly reports. They're all gone, irretrievably damaged. Um, the cerebral committee's putting their heads together to come up with a solution. We hope to have one before the auditors arrive. In the meantime, here's what I need you all to do. Do not under any circumstance talk about blah, blah, blah. Huh. That, there's no, hold on. There's nothing here. There is nothing in there for me to read on. That can't be it, though. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe there is another terminal that I can use. Has to be. 
That can't be the only one, though. Wait a minute, I just thought of something. Maybe not necessary in the theater, but... One of these offices. Uh, this one? No, that's not it. Uh... There has to be another terminal here. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. There has to be another terminal here. Messages. Ooh, what's this? The OCI, Cerebral Community, blah, blah, blah. Good photo. I share your concerns, but not your alarm, blah, blah, blah. My team and I have finished reviewing, report. Huh, it just shows all of the dangerous side effects of the drugs that they're selling. Huh. We should be getting closer. See Mosley? Yeah, they're just talking about some test results. I'm not gonna bother with these things, though. I don't... Okay, that one's not usable. That's cool. None of these are usable. There has to be something, though. Like, am I missing anything? This can't be the only thing. I, I don't know. Are you really serious that this is the only thing? Oh, man. I don't... What other terminal is there for me to view on? Am I missing something? What about... Hold on. Maybe there's another terminal that I'm not aware of. There has to be. Like, somewhere over here? No. I'm not gonna lie. This is a nice, cozy spot. But no, seriously, there has to be another terminal here. Right? Just has to be. Something that helps me to at least unlock... Oh! Interesting. Looks like I didn't even need to unlock anything. I definitely miss a spot here. Because I'm slow. At observing. Wow. This is not good at all. Not good indeed. Okay. What's in here? Yeah, let's let's mess them up. I'll take the money. Thank you so much. Take that. So, I did not see that hole in the wall. I feel very foolish, but you know what? At least I got to it, regardless, you know? Ooh, candy! Yay! I don't see anything else. Ooh, but I do see that there is an upstairs, so not bad. Nice, I'm just making sure I'm opening up all the doors. Sucks for him, the way he died. Third floor? Oh, wow. Okay. This is horrible. Look at this. Right here? Holy cow. You're the best there ever was. 
So it's somewhere right over here. Wow. Okay. This is a nice dining area. Bathroom. No one with an honest job has an office this nice. Uh, let me see here. So, administrative functions. Unlock. Yes! Got it! And, yeah. Nice. Now, let's go. Whoa. You best go back the way you came. There's nothing for you here. Or what? What you gonna do? Huh. You know what? If you're about to issue me a dire warning, you can eat it. I understand that you think yourself a big hero here on a big, important job. The last one did, too. But you've grossly misapprehended the situation here. This place is a graveyard. All that was done here should be forgotten and left to rot. Well, well, well. That's the best argument you got? Don't? Gorgon is the birthplace of marauders. We created them here, in this very facility. They are our misbegotten children, born of hubris and vanity. I don't understand. They made marauders here? How? But marauders are just mindless lunatics, right? There can't be more to it than that. They hold no fondness for trespassers. I've placed the facility under emergency lockdown to keep them safe. Let the marauders die in peace. Or I will make certain that you die with them. Looks like there's more to this job than I thought. Spacer's Choice made the marauders? All of them? Somehow that sounds even more insane out loud. Marauders have caused almost as much death and destruction as factory accidents. If whoever that was is right, this place is hiding something big. Hmm. Whoever, you know what? Whatever secrets are buried here, we'll root them out. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.